At a meeting with the Russian President Vladimir Putin, the CEO of Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has said that foreign customers are likely to place hundreds of orders for Russia's latest Su-57 fifth-generation fighter, and the company is all set to start work to develop several modifications of the aircraft. The deputy CEO for strategy of Russia's United Engine Corporation Mikhail Rimizov has said that the company is launching research and development work on the sixth-generation demonstrator engine technology for combat aircraft, while the work is on to develop the product 30 engines for the Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet. After suffering three months of delays due to the lockdown, Hindustan Aeronautics is all set to hand over four FOC standard Tejas Mark I fighters to the Indian Air Force by end of this month. HAL is working overtime to recover the lost man hours, and is currently manufacturing SP-21 and SP-22, and aims to deliver the SP-23 to SP-32 by March 2022. The FOC aircraft comes with in-flight refueling capability and advanced features for low-speed handling and improved weapons capability and enhanced flight envelope. The Indian Army has released a request for information seeking Indian companies that are eligible in the Make-2 project for the development of prototypes for truck-mounted crane for M777 ultralight howitzer regiments. Indian companies that meet the technical commercial and project requirements will be issued a project sanction order to develop a prototype, and upon selection, the Army will place an order for 132 units of truck-mounted cranes, and the delivery must be completed within 24 months of signing of the contract. The Indian Army is inducting M777 howitzers for the mountainous eastern sector, and the 155mm ammunition used with these guns is kept in palletized state, and these truck-mounted cranes are required as it is practically impossible for the troops to handle pallets that weigh more than 500 kilograms. The Defence Ministry had granted another extension of the emergency powers for emergent revenue procurements through the fast-track procedure till 31 August, under which procurement of critical spares and ammunition will be done to sustain and maintain existing assets. The emergency powers for capital acquisitions have also been extended till 31 August, under which the Indian Air Force is planning to buy another lot of ham rare to ground precision guided system for its Rafale fighter jets while other procurements include armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot ammunition for the T-72 and T-90 main battle tanks, additional Heron armed UAVs, loitering munition, Spice 2000 air-to-ground systems and man-portable air defense systems. U.S. aerospace manufacturer Pratt & Whitney will train frontline engineers of Indian Air Force on its engines, at its India Customer Training Center in Hyderabad. Pratt & Whitney engines powers the Air Force's C-17 transport aircraft and Pilatus PC-7 trainers, and the Indian Air Force is also looking at the Airbus C-295, which is powered by two Pratt & Whitney's PW-100 turboprop engines. The Boeing F-15EX fighter is also under consideration for India's $20 billion multi-role fighter program, and Pratt & Whitney's F-100 engine with some advanced fifth-generation technologies is suited to power the platform. Multiple efforts are on to develop defense capabilities of the Lugs and Weep Islands, and the Navy is working in tandem with the Civil Administration to extend the Agati Air Strip to 3,200 meters from the existing 1,000 meters, to accommodate larger aircraft like Boeing P 8 I Poseidon long range maritime reconnaissance aircraft. India is working to boost air connectivity to the Ladakh region with four new airports and 37 hilly pads that are being planned across the Union Territory, that will boost tourism and will also serve as vital assets for the armed forces. Land has already been identified for four new airports, that also links the strategic Pangong Tso, and these airports will be capable of handling wide-bodied aircraft. <laughs> Oh, my God.